There is rain in the area, but we've been given the go-ahead to get this one started. Tonight, the first of this quick two-game series between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Texas Rangers. Rangers baseball, next. Mike Miner, a southpaw from Tennessee, is the man on the mound. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, every team needs a pitcher like this one here. His numbers aren't going to blow you away. Career ERA just under four. But one thing he does, he takes the ball every five days, throws strikes, and gives his team a chance to win every single time he goes out there. He'll be fun to watch in this one here today. Digging in now, Kermit Yellowhorse. First shot for him Not here exactly. as he enters play, right currently field. leading the senior Kermit. circuit in batting. Yellow this guy's horse. having a really good hey, year for his going. age, stay but on, this is something on. we've seen a lot lately. Young players coming up and impacting a lineup. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit hard on the ground to third. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. Hey, that ball was hit. Not even hard. letting the Good fans job. settle into their seats, ball. and he's coming on glued first pitch. Nice base hit to the outfield. Now batting, Bill Nicholas. He'll that get to first. take his first cuts the here. Bill Nicholas. Ground ball to second. This could be two. Odor has it. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. With that, the batting order for the visiting Arizona Diamondbacks. Thoughts, Dan? Who stands out? You know, Matt, you know they're getting a lot of production out of that number two spot right now. He hit over 400 last month. Watching him, it seemed like everything clicked. I want to see if he can carry through this month as well. Jake Lamb standing in now. He's assuming the role of DH in this interleague matchup. Yeah, Matt, that's Jake. one of the funny things about Lamb. National League teams playing in AL ballparks. All of a sudden, the lineup kind of changes dramatically. But the cool thing is it gets more guys a chance to get some at-bats or time hey, in the field. Rip, one time. Yellow Horse stands at second with two gone. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Gallo has got it, and the side is retired. So they get a man to second here in the top half, but he's stranded there. And now the Rangers will get their shot in a scoreless ball game. Striding in, Eddie Rosario, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Eddie. Rosario. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Home run number two for him on the year. As the Rangers strike first, it's one to nothing. Wow, not every call is going to go your way. And there are some pitchers that pitchers think are pitchers' pitches, and you don't get that, and it puts you in a bad spot. And you could tell that it affected him. He was fuming, and he really wanted that last pitch. And the result, he lost focus and oh. made another ball for a Kermit Yellow Horse. Now he pass. singled his Wait, last time up. Kermit Yellow Horse. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he goes the other way. Oh, this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. Hey, nice and he is play. in the second boy. with a two out double.
at the plate. Bill Nicholas, runner in scoring five. position with two guns. Bill Nicholas. Come on, baby. See Here that? comes the 0 1. Hit the other you're way going, out going, toward going, right field. Mazzara's under it. And that retires the side. Danger averted following the two out double. We're back with more on this Monday night after this. Digging in once again, Eddie Rosario. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, I don't know. I got to feel like he's got to build a rapport with this umpire, this AB. See how far he'll go. And it's belted high and deep into right center. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. Back with more Monday Night Baseball following this. Ready now, Kermit Yellow Horse. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. Yellow Horse. First delivery to him on the way. Scorch to third. Davidson loves it. Throw not in time, and he beats it out for his third hit tonight. Digging in to try it again. Bill Nicholas. He flew out in his last at bat. Nicholas. Oh, and one. Here it comes. Hit weakly on the ground to short. Going to be a tough play. On to first, and the Diamondbacks are turned away as the inning is over. Diamondbacks strand a pair. They're down 5-1. to one. Digging in, Mark Taylor will lead things off here for the Rangers to be followed by Elvis Andrews on deck. Mark Taylor. Hit in the air to right field. Yellow Horse has a read on it, and that's the first out of the inning. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Rangers. Leading off the inning, Kermit Yellow Horse, and they'll need him to get something going here. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Let her rip right here. Let's go. The wind up and the 0 1. High in the air out to center field. Blackman is under it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Let's play ball. He's out. 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 Got him. Out. Three. Three. Out. You want a quick series like this, you take the first one, you're guaranteed at least a split. They'll take that every single time. Tonight's game comes to an end. 5-1 to one, the final score. Texas jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Mike Miner earns win number seven on the season. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show.
live tour for our ball game tonight. For the victorious Rangers, five runs, six hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. The winning pitcher is Mike Miner. His record is now seven and three. The loss goes to Shelby Miller. His record is now five and six. It's time now for baseball from the great state of Texas in Globe Life Park. Today, the finale of this quick two-game series between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Texas Rangers. It's Rangers baseball next. Adrian Ponce, a right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, this guy's done a real good job on the year keeping the opponent's batting average down. Both righties and lefties coming into this one, hitting under 250 against this guy. He's been good all season long. Coming to the plate now, Kermit Yellowhorse. He comes in today leading the National League the right in hitting this year. This Kermit. season really shouldn't come Yellow as a horse. surprise to many. We Is all know what now? kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Popped him up. Robinson is there for it. Two down. Time now to look at the Diamondbacks starting lineup. Dan Plezak, who are you focused on? Look, Matt, everybody should be looking at the guy in the three spot. Looking at the stats, he's hitting over 400 versus right-handed pitching this season. He's obviously facing a right-hander on the mound today, so guys, he could have a real impact on this game. Into the box, Charlie Blackman. And he that comes into good. this one really the slumping. The numbers there over the Charlie. past several games, not Black very man. pretty. Hey, went away, went away. Skied into very shallow right. Yellow horse oh, is oh, after oh, it. Oh. He's there to make the catch from third as this should get him on the board the tag and he is out at the plate and so much for our first run of the ball game so the Rangers turned away in the first on to the second now in Arlington with no score back now for the second inning in Arlington and here's Heidi Watney with an update on the weather well, Matt, the forecast isn't pretty, but it does sound like we're going to get this one in, even if it takes a while. It's coming down at a decent rate as of right now, and it's likely to intensify as the game moves along. The grounds crew is standing by to put that tarp on the field if the umpires call a delay. We'll have to hope that any such halt in the action is short-lived. Kermit's yellow horse as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Comes set and the 0-1. Line drive to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. And they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet, but the bases are loaded with one away. Dan, that hit right there extends his hit streak to eight games. Are you aware of stuff like that? No doubt about on, it right now. He's swinging the bat really well, and after that knock right there, yeah. hey, listen, eight games is nothing to sneeze at, so you can say, hey, he's going to hold calendar week with getting at least one base hit, so there's a lot of positives going on right now. And this is swung on and missed. Oh, a huge punch out there as the bases remain main loaded with two away now. I'm really impressed by that strikeout and I'll tell you why. He should have gotten a call on the pitch
pitch before, and it looked like he got squeezed a little bit. In a bases-loaded situation, that could drive a guy nuts, drive you crazy. What I loved is he didn't let him take it out of his game, and he came back with another good pitch and got the punch out. A really nice job of taking it one pitch at a time. Skied into straightaway right. Mazzara's under it. He's got it, and that'll get him out of the jam. Diamondbacks leave them loaded. They still trail one nothing. Ready for another chance? Oh, the door. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim Rook last there. time. Yeah, Matty, expect oh, this pitcher oh. to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Yellow yeah, horse go. has a read on it. And he makes the play, but this should extend their lead as the runner tags from third. And the runner from third crosses the plate. It's a 2-0 ball game. Man, this is a spot where you really want to get greedy as a hitter. Bases loaded, nobody out. You're hoping for that big swing of the bat. What does he get? A sacrifice fly and only one run scores. I'm sure he wanted more, but he's not going to complain about the RBI. Let's play ball. He's there. Four, four. Play permits yellow horse. He singled his last time up. Yeah, Matty pressure's off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. Hit in the air out to center field. Blackman is under it, and that's the third out. So one, two, three go the Diamondbacks. They can't chip into that five nothing deficit. Charlie Blackman now a hit in two now tries back. so far. The center fielder, Charlie Blackman. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Swing by Blackman and it's hammered to right field. Gone all the way into the upper deck. Two-run blast to straightaway right field. Home run number nine on the year as this lead swells to seven to nothing. Wow, that's what a pitcher gets for not putting what he thought was a bad call in the rear view mirror. I think he was still fuming and didn't get the pitch where he wanted it. The result? A reason to be even more mad. So stepping in, Mark now Taylor. Catcher, Mark Taylor. The 3 2 pitch. This one's flared off to the right side. And that's going to fall for a base hit. And they'll get it in quickly. It's first and third now with nobody out. I mean, you want to talk about doing your job and getting paid for it. There it is right there. Unselfish A.B. trying to work his guy from second to third. And, oh, what do you know? Not. Three. Now pitching for the Rangers, number 15. Up next for Arizona, Kermit Yellow Horse. He flew out in his last at bat. Kermit Yellow Horse. And here we go, you got this. He's set, here it comes. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. 
So one run on three hits, no errors, and a runner left. Bottom of the seventh now. Get up and stretch here in Arlington. It's the Rangers eight and the D-backs one. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Carlton McKenzie. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this A.B. Yellow Horse is there to put it away for route number one. Play ball. Got him. Out. It's still a sweep. Hey, man, winners make the rules around here. They earned it. 8-1 to one is the final score this afternoon. The Texas Rangers took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Adrian Ponce earns win number seven on the season. Ryan Bowie was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon. First for the victorious Rangers, eight runs on 13 hits. No errors. They left 11 men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 13 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.